KKJ come back at you with another uh, short video real quick I bought me a um, ultra started clear that was a hundred and I, I got it on sale for like I think 119 bucks and um, 119 bucks I bought a six millimeter uh, coupler a shaft two flanges and that was about I don't know twelve dollars and then I just got, uh, just received a, I think this is a two or three RPM um, motor, geared motor. I think I paid eight bucks for this. So, uh, you know, that's where the soldering goes. I got my, I, my soldering iron going. Got, you know, my paste, my solder, and the last thing you need to power this is a 12 volt adapter, which... Who does not have one of these laying around at their home? Who? Who? Who doesn't? <laughs> I got like fucking like eight of these things from old phones or whatever. It's 12 volts. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to, you know, of course show it. I'm going to just chop this off here, splice it, solder it to two leads, and it should work. Um... This is uh, just a short one here. Uh, I'll let you, when I get it going, and decide how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll be, uh, I'll display that, I guess. But like I said, I think it was a couple, I think I may, maybe 20, not even 20 bucks on the whole apparatus here to make this thing work. Hopefully this works, so uh, I'll be right back. I promise I just finished soldering the two leads here. All right, all the way to this, all right? 12 volts, uh, you know, phone charger or whatever. You know, you probably do. You could probably also use a USB. Um, I know I got tons of those USB adapters and just splice a, a USB uh, cable and just plug it in if you want. But I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Um, see if I can do this. It kind of sucks not having to stand. Uh, let me turn off my uh, soldering for a little bit. So, let me... Uh, Let's see here. God damn it, sucks. Well, I'm gonna plug this in here. There you go. So that's working. Alright, so I'm gonna just tape that up with some electrical tape and then mount mount tape. Mounting me! Mount it on the thing somehow. Uh, I'll be right back. People, so what you're witnessing here is probably the cheapest ultrasonic cleaner <laughs> that you've ever seen. We got the motor running, right? I got a fucking vice grip holding the little motor, and it's been, it's working. You know, uh, I'll probably, what I'll do is probably buy like a, the, a little C clamp, and that should do it. I mean, besides, uh, Getting it, um, you know, getting it uh, straight and everything. Uh, I mean, level, level, should I say? Uh, besides that, you know, it's spinning, it's working. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this thing out on a couple of records. Um, yeah, you know, again, those are the little flanges I got there. I uh, got the, um, the little uh, vinyl strips or the uh, suede strips I use to do my normal cleaning with. Uh, so, I, the Moto's 8, you know, like I said, the whole operation here is probably 140, 42 bucks or something. 140 at most. Um, yeah, so it's spinning, it's working, you know. That's all you need for an ultra sound to clean. Now, you can get fancy, you get, um, you know, this is what I use for, you probably just put that in there and use that flange to tighten it up. But, um, I'm gonna, uh... There's a record I, I want to, that's awful, but, um, yeah, there it goes. It stopped right there. I just got to tighten, you got to tighten these. Make sure this, these flanges are tied up against the label or else, uh, I just threw it on there. I didn't really tighten it hard, so, but, um, yeah, uh, let me, uh, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Um, I'll, uh, I'll test out a couple of records, see how it works. 